What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm showing you how to make pictures talk in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. So before I get into this edit, I'm going to be showing you an example of what it will look like. I don't fucking care. At least in the end I got the fucker in the ass. So I'm sure many of you know where that is from, when Basher had that interview on Drama Alert with Keemstar, and uh, that's how he ended the interview. So this is how you make pictures talk. So if you have some audio that you know what it's going to say, then go ahead and just drag it on. If you don't, it doesn't matter. So here's my picture right here of Basher. First of all, you want to right click here on your picture and click duplicate track. Now the next thing you want to do is come to media generators, come to solid color, and you want to pick black. Now if you don't have this right here, come to view, windows layout, and click default layout. So go ahead and get the black and drag it onto its own track. Now you can X out of this. Now you want to move this in between your pictures, like this. So I'm going to go ahead and just shorten this down, so it's like this. Okay, so the top part is actually going to do the talking. So if we come to the event pattern crop right here, you want to go to mask and check the box, make sure that's on. Now press this, the normal edit tool, and just zoom in it to the mouth. Now what we're going to do is actually mask out the mouth. So come to this right here, which is the anchor creation tool, click it, make sure you're right at the beginning here, and now we're just going to go ahead and mask out his mouth. Like that, so that is what you want to do, get his chin, get uh, his bottom lips, and that is what you'll need to make the picture talk. Now you can see it's also here, so we can now X out of this. Now with the black, we need to make it behind the mouth part right here. Now you can use track motion or you can use the event pattern crop for this. I'm going to use the track motion. Now make sure these are two are unchecked, lock, aspect ratio and, and scale about center is unchecked. So from there, again, make sure you're right at the start and go ahead and resize it so it's in position. So you can zoom in with the mouse wheel and... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up because it should be pretty simple to do for you. Okay, so there we go, I've positioned it into place, you can't see it, and you can position it with the arrow key, so you can see if I'm pressing up here, you can see there it is. And there we go, so you can now X out of this. The next thing is, is actually to make the animation of the talking picture, so we've masked it out. All we need to do now is move it up and down to make it look like he's talking. Now, as I've already got my sound in, what I'm going to do is mark these out one by one so I know when to make it look like he's talking and when for him to have his mouth shut. So what I'm going to do is just press M on the keyboard for every time he's talking and I'm going to speed this up real quick. So he speaks quite fast, so I couldn't mark it out just as good. However, hopefully this does look pretty good when I'm done with it. Let's go ahead and start making this. So on the top picture where we masked out his mouth, come to the event panel crop. You want to make sure you're on position. And now you can change this. So yours will be on this. You want to change it to this one right here. This means you can only move it up and down. So I'm actually going to put mine in here. If you want to put yours up here as well, just go ahead and drag the three buttons and just drag it in like so. And now this is the first time he talks. So we're going to go ahead and make sure this is checked right here. This means wherever this is on here, it's going to follow up there as well. So here we go. He's first going to open his mouth. So I'm dragging it the wrong way. There we go. Now you can see I actually messed it up a bit for the uh, black bar. So we're going to go ahead and fix that real quick. Okay, so I fixed it. And let's just continue. So we're going to go ahead and make him talk. You can choose how big you want the mouth to go. I'm going to choose it about there. And then I'm just going to go through all of this and make it look like he's saying all of it. So I'm going to speed this part up. You should know what you're going to do now. So the next part when we want him... So he's opened his mouth to say the word. He's finished saying the word. I'm going to make it go back to that. And then of course we're going to open it back up once it gets back to this part here. Now just really quick, before he actually talks again, so you want to zoom in and go back one keyframe, press add keyframe, and then go back to the next one, 
and now you can get him to talk again. The reason we do this is because if we go straight from the straight face like this, and we go to the next time he talks, the mouth will be slowly moving down. With this, it's going to be staying the same, the same, the same, until he actually talks again, and his mouth's going to open back up. So it's not going to look stuttery, it's going to be smooth, and I'm going to go ahead and fast forward all this part. So I believe it is done, let's go ahead and play this. I don't fucking care. At least in the end I got the fucker in the ass. So that is how you do it. It is pretty simple to do. Now you can see this part right here probably isn't the best because he is speaking quite fast. It's hard to control the keyframes up here. Now I'm only doing this as an example so I'm not going to spend too much time on the tutorial. But hopefully you guys still understood how to do this. It is pretty simple to do and it just does require patience. So you can see this was only a 4 second video that took like 10 minutes to do. So be warned that this does take time and you will need patience. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hopefully it has helped you. Like I said, at the start of the video, for this requested tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, and Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you updated when I'm posting and what I'm posting. Also, be sure to go and check out my gaming channel, which I'm signing up pretty soon. And finally, be sure to go and add me on Snapchat, which is sure to do throughout my day. CSP Casual Savage here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.